Okay, this is part three of the three-part series on the boat demonstration. Recall in part one, we took the Navionics maps, imported into Google Earth, and created waypoints, paths, and structure markings. In part two, I showed you how to convert that into a GPX file. And this is part three, where we go on the boat and import it into the fish finder and take a look at some of the features. In this example, I'm using the Lowrance HDS Generation 3, but it's similar for Hummingbird where they use a Hummingbird PC software. But the GPX file structure is universal and can work across many platforms, including Hummingbird and Garmin. So let's get started on part three. Okay, so now we are at the boat. This is the Lowrance HDS Generation 3. So I'll take the chip that I had in the um, computer with the file. And uh, for the Lowrance, you just import it, insert it. And go to File. Left menu here, Files on that memory card on the right side, Decker Demo from Google Earth. Once you click that, you can just import that information. Doesn't take very long. Close it, exit. So now when you look at the map, it has that top water in the morning. It has the intake ledge. It has that path that was drawn. It also has that uh, imaginary shell bed that we did in, on the computer. I'm going to show you how to convert that path into a route. Uh, the reason why you would want to do that is uh, on your GPS enabled trolling motor that's tied to this. In my case I have a motor guide XI5 GPS trolling motor which is tied to this Lowrance Gen 3 and I can uh, create a route out of that path and just follow it while I'm on the water. What I'll do is I'll just Highlight that, and you click that top water path, you can create a route out of that. Just click that button, and you can name it. Um, just name it something that you can refer to later. Decker Top Water, for example. Click OK, and now it's done. You just save it. And these are waypoints that it drops in to create that path. Uh, to create that route. And once you have that route created on the water, all you have to do is just um, go into your route menu, select that route, and you can just start it. So you can, uh, on the Lowrance Gen 3, you can start it by going forward, which in our case we created going clockwise, or you can go reverse depending where you're at on the water. Uh, but that would be on the water. So this completes part three of the three-part series on starting off with Google Maps and Navionics, being able to import that, those waypoints, creating paths and underwater structure, and being able to put that onto your fish finder so that you can spend more time on the water fishing instead of uh, messing around with waypoints, paths, and, and uh, structures. Hopefully that improves your fishing efficiency and put more fish into your boat. I hope you enjoyed the video series.